What are some other part sources for classic Mercedes? I did a video a few months ago and um, I talked about how I think it's probably just a be the best idea is just to buy your parts from a, um, uh, you know, from Mercedes Classic or your local Mercedes dealership. And I practice what I preach because about 80% of my parts content comes from Mercedes now. And that's because when somebody's paying me, you know, X number of dollars to put a part on, usually it's a lot of money. I don't want them to have to come back two years later and get the part replaced again because our MO is not to make as much money off of the customer until they get sick of it, throw their hands in the air and move, move down the road with their car despite what some people might think. Our goal is actually to troubleshoot, diagnose, and repair the problem with a long-lasting part that's not going to fail. But what do you do when there are no parts available? And this is a question that comes up over and over again and that's when you sort of have to look at the supply side from companies like Niemöller or Authentic Classics. And I'm gonna tell you about some of the companies that I use to buy Mercedes restoration parts and why I use them versus not other companies. So, Authentic Classics is a good example. You can't call Mercedes and get a battery cable for a 280SL or 280SE six-cylinder car, or, you know, any six-cylinder Mercedes. And the positive battery cables you often find have been replaced with the junk. They've usually been replaced with garbage Walmart cables or a bulk section of cable with the head clamped on. I mean, all kinds of crap that just does not belong on these cars. And what I've learned over the years is that if you are going to run a Mercedes repair shop, uh, you can't just let stuff like this go. You know, it looks bad for you, it looks bad in the customer's engine bay, and it represents a point of failure that you can easily control for. So I did some research and I found out that Authentic Classics makes these battery cables. Do the heads look exactly like the Mercedes heads? No, they don't, but at least they're soldered on, not clamped. At least the wire's heavy duty wire that's gauged properly. You know, and they're made in the EU and imported over. And Authentic Classics, by the way, doesn't make any of its own parts or buying stuff from Europe and, and bringing it in. Now, another thing that I really like to get from Authentic Classics is some of their hardware. Some hardware Mercedes is substitute to weird Torx head screws or black zinc oxide crap. Like, it just doesn't look anything like it's supposed to. But thankfully, Authentic Classics seems to have a nice collection of yellow zinc plated metric screws and they even have some oversized screws or screws with different threads on them for cars that have had their fine little screw holes damaged. Now this is something that I particularly do not, um, uh, I, I don't like dealing with these sorts of problems and so Authentic Classics has presented me with some solutions but they have some other great parts too. They have the washer pump diaphragms for 108, 109, 111, 115, and 114 series cars. Um, they also have the entire screw kit for the hard top for a 113 if you want to order all of the correct looking screws. They have uh, reproduction metal brackets for things like your 190SL's thermostat housing. There's just, there just seem to be an endless supply of parts, especially for classic SL's. Now another company I love dealing with is Niemöller. Niemöller is in Germany and they have uh, great rubber if you want to buy rubber for your classic Mercedes and maybe if it's either in LA or a little expensive, they, they usually supply it. Um, some of the stuff they don't have, like I tried to buy a shutoff cable for the 180D that's in the shop recently, which by the way, nobody has inquired about and that makes me kind of sad. But the they, they have a lot of the stuff for that car, which really is surprising. They have windshield gaskets, door seals, brake parts, and it's all high quality stuff. It's not made in China. It seems like it's actually made in the EU. So that's pretty exciting. Now, a third supplier that I um, uh, I really like is a company called Spareto, and they're in Italy. And Spareto is one that Jamie turned me on to. 
And uh, Spareto seems to have great inventories of high quality parts. For example, when I ran out of the guide rod mounting kits for the 123 series cars, part number 123, 330, 1475, Spareto had Febby kits in stock. Now I know that Febby is not my favorite brand, but the Febby kits are made supposedly in the EU. And that makes them good enough for me to install, certainly better than Vico or Euro parts. So uh, Spareto is not just a site that comes up like the many of many of the weird parts like knee parts or Burge Auto or whatever when you search for a Mercedes part. It's actually a real site that sells stuff and I was really amazed at that. And uh, they have great search engine optimization, which some of these other companies, I don't know how they managed to create SEOs, but they seem, they, they're like you click on it, it's like not, there's like nothing there, you know, sort of like Pelican parts. Oh, item is out of stock, you know, but anyway. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, and if you like it, please like, share, and subscribe, and tap, tap the bell for notifications. And if you have a part source that's worked out for you really well, mention it in the comments below so that my other subscribers can see it. And I just want to thank John An Anchiaris, or however I pronounced your last name, sorry if I didn't get right, for suggesting this topic. Initially, John had said that if you're in a pinch or on a budget, you can look in these places and we don't really bring up budgets or pinches here at the shop. We just look at what it costs to do the job right. And sometimes doing the job right involves searching for parts alternatives outside of the Mercedes Benz umbrella. So, you know, one doesn't just have to be in a budget to consider purchasing from these suppliers. Although, uh, yeah, you can make the justification in some cases, but more so it's just finishing the car the right way that, that leads us to look here. So, I'll see you guys in the future. Please uh, come back to the channel when you want some great Mercedes info.